Hi, we are Project Kratos from Bits Balani Goa Campus India. We are excited to showcase our new rover Kratos Mark II. Our team of 40 plus students have worked to develop a new and robust rover that is unique, modular and lightweight. The team was founded in May 2018 and has attended IRC 2020 and has qualified for URC 2022. The manufacturing of mechanical parts is done at the university workshop using different jobs such as CNC, lathe, etc. We work in a student robotics lab provided by the university which is used for housing our equipment such as electrical appliances, 3D printers, soldering irons, Arduinos, motor drivers, etc. We have implemented aluminum box chassis which houses our new electronics box and provides easy access to the electronics onboard. A mechanism to access the height of the antenna has also been incorporated to match the size limitation. We have improved on our previous double lambda rocker bogey suspension with differential bar averaging for better performance over challenging terrain. The improved averaging mechanism helps the rover maintain ground contact at all times and reduces playing the assembly. Continuing with the six wheel differential drive mechanism, we are using 3D printed wheels with modified honeycomb support patterns improving the shop excellence. Grouses printed on the wheel provide grip on loose sand. The design is optimized for faster and easier assembly. The modularity of wheels helps in the faster replacement of parts in case of failure. The wheels together with the suspension help the rover climb steep slopes and even stairs. The rover is teleoperated using multiple camera feeds and a joystick from the base station. The required wheel velocities are computed using a differential drive model which is then communicated to the motor drivers using ROS serial. The rover can autonomously traverse various paths using a predictive Stanley controller with a PID controller as a failsafe. The predictive Stanley controller has been thoroughly tested using simulations before deploying it on the rover. For the autonomous navigation task, we are using a state machine based model. Centimeter level accurate positioning of the rover is achieved using GPS module and the Z2i stereo camera is used to get point cloud data. After conversion to laser scan, this data is used for mapping of obstacles on a binary occupancy grid. The A-star path planning algorithm uses this occupancy grid for path planning and obstacle avoidance, which enables the rover to navigate through debris. This makes the rover ready to face the challenges posed by the navigation tasks. Once required points are reached, a spiral search algorithm is used to search for expected visual markers. For the detection of Aruko visual markers in various tasks, the Aruko package of OpenCV library is used. A feedback-based visual surveying algorithm is then used to follow the visual markers. Preliminary testing of the entire stack was done on a gazebo simulation and the scripts were then implemented on the rover. We have a combination of LiPo and LifePO for batteries to power the rover. They have built-in BMS and cell balancing and can power the rover for 90 minutes of continuous traversal. For every major electronic system present on the rover, we have designed a custom PCB. The PCBs reduce the clutter and make it easier to work on the rover once integrated. We have designed an electronic box to protect the components inside from dust, water, vibrations and heat. There is also a kill switch present to shut down the entire rover in case of an emergency. We are using a Cytron MDDS30 to control the motors of the rover. The motors themselves are planetary servo motors capable of delivering 255 kg per centimeter of power. A major consideration while designing the electronic system has been the ease of use and the modularity of the entire system. Our new 5 degree of freedom robotic arm is designed and tested for high torque and high precision requirements. The carbon fiber links and two linear actuators enable the arm to lift and drag payloads of up to 9 kgs while being lightweight. We have implemented a spur gear base rotation for better stability. For equipment servicing, the actuators are controlled using an inverse kinematics algorithm which uses a closed loop feedback control system. This algorithm is optimized in-house to suit the design of the arm. The feedback control used poses an error of less than 2%. This helps in easier teleoperation of the arm through the camera feed. The end effector is a two-jaw gripper with differential bevel gears to control its roll pitch motion, enabling the rover to perform tasks like flipping switches pushing buttons, operating a joystick and opening drawers. The current science setup can retrieve up to 5 different soil samples weighing as much as 60 grams each from a depth of 7 cm from the surface. The sampling mechanism is actuated using lead screws. It's mounted externally on the chassis in order to increase modularity of the rover. Photographs of the sampling site are taken using a Logitech webcam. These are further used to generate a 360 degree cylindrical panorama of the area using OpenCV library. Habitability estimations are done using data collected from the sensors that measured the temperature and moisture of the soil and atmosphere. 
Gases of importance like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and methane are also quantified along with the measurement of UV levels. We are using a combination of 2.4 GHz omnidirectional and sector antennas to establish communication between the rover and the base station. The base station is connected to the sector antenna whereas the rover is connected to the omnidirectional antenna. SSH protocol has been employed to allow the onboard computer to communicate and exchange data with the base station computer. This system has been tested over a non-LOS range of 1 km. An OpenCV based video compression algorithm enables us to launch multiple camera feeds simultaneously. It has been successful in streaming three camera feeds simultaneously with minimal latency. ROS is used to interface the software systems of the rover with the hardware systems. Commands and data are sent from the base station to the rover and vice versa via ROS topics with the rover set up as the ROS master. For reading and scanning of Bluetooth devices, we are using the BlueZ package using which we can continuously scan for nearby devices as this utility displays both the MAC address and the user-friendly name of a nearby device. In the case of loss of communication with the base station, the rover uses stereo cam data to retrace its trajectory autonomously to try to re-establish communication. We conduct a summer program where we train over 150 students on various electronics, mechanical, autonomous and biology topics relevant to our project. We recruit the best performers in separate rounds. We regularly conduct demonstration to increase interest in robotics and participation in projects. Moving forward, we will be repeatedly testing and demonstrating the competition tasks to find the limits of our rover. This has all been possible due to the hard work of the team and support of our seniors and professors. We hope to see you at ARC 2022.